Hi, welcome to this remote learning series video, how to use Kami to complete credits digitally. In our last video, we walked through uh, what it takes for a student to access credits in our uh, SIS in the student portal. And uh, we're gonna jump off right from there. So students will have access to a credit. They have it opened right here. This is what it looks like uh, going straight from the student portal and opening that credit. And as you can see, if we uh, kind of just look at this, this is what it'll look like the very first time a student opens it. As you can see, I'm not signed in. I actually have a brand new uh, uh, kind of fake student for a fake student, Ali Hamilton. Um, I have a fake Gmail account that I just set up. So this is a, exactly kind of a square one video of what it looks like if you've never done anything before. And so as you can see, uh, we've got access to the whole credit, um, but there's nothing, we can't really click, we can't edit, we can't do anything on here. Um, so there's nothing, nothing really that we can do. So the first step is that we are going to actually sign into our Google account. So like I said, I had set up um, an account for Ali Hamilton. And there's her email address. And I got her going with a password. And like I said, this is a brand new account. So if a student never logged in, this is exactly what they're going to see. And so what you can see right here is I just logged in. And now you can see the little A for Allie Hamilton right there. And now I've got this open with option right up here. And so if we click open with, we are going to choose to annotate with Cami. Cami is a really awesome app and the first time you use it you're going to have to kind of answer some questions so like I said this is the very first never used it before um, I'm gonna say I'm at K-12 school I'm a student and uh, it's gonna be ready to go it's gonna give me a little tutorial video if you want to watch that feel free to do that on your own time and uh, right here here we go. So because we're a new, uh, new student, we've got a trial that's going to give us access to the full version. Uh, if you are past the trial, there may be some features that aren't available, um, but definitely the core features of being able to write on a packet and be able to type into a packet are going to be available in the free version as well. So uh, this is everything you need to do. The really cool thing is it forces a copy into the student's drive and it saves things as you go. So um, here we go. I'm going to start right here and I'm going to put my name. So I'm going to just uh, drop the text box and it's going to ask me to create a copy. And we're going to allow Google Drive. And here we go. Now we have uh, my copy of it. And I'm going to drop that text box right on here. And I'll be able to type right there. If you want to change the size, or the color, or the font, you've got all those options right in there. Um, but that's basically what we need to need to know for that. And then if I go in here and, um, you know, let's just say that I want to, let's say I want to highlight something. Um, I can use the markup right here. And... I can choose to box highlighter it, I can choose to strike through, or I can choose to underline, whatever I kind of choose to want to do, but it gives you kind of some options for editing right, or annotating right there. Um, if I got to a component that I really wanted to, um, I wanted to draw on top of it, I could choose the drawing tool and, uh, you know, I could make a big circle. Um, also, since this is an algebra credit, if I wanted to write out my equation, um, you know, I could use my mouse to write if I wanted to. Also, if you're working with something with a touch screen, this is fully touch screen compatible. So you could actually use handwriting on top of it. Um, lots of really cool tools with this, um, but those are two or, or three tools that are available in the free version. Um, if you have the premium version, uh, you're also going to have an equation editor, which will allow you to insert math symbols and kind of type with that. And lots of cool other features. Uh, if you want to find out more, you can always go to the help and uh, get kind of some more information with that. But Kami is a really awesome tool to uh, complete your credit. Stay tuned for our next credit when I'm going to show um, what you do once you've completed a credit using Kami.